Hi crafters, Karen here and in today's video it's all about sharing with you the Smash Our Stash series and for the month of December it is free choice. So that means we can pick whatever it is that we want to use from our stash and uh, try to use it up. So what you see in front of you is I have the Doodlebug uh, 6x6 Candy Cane Lane paper pad. It is a 24 double sided uh, card, uh, pattern paper and then along with that um, I have these odds and ends and then I also had a pack of um, I, they were just like sentiments um, so you can see some of these large uh, larger sentiments here um, they had a bunch of I think it's called chit chat that, that I remember so uh, what I did was is um, after using quite a few of these pieces, I pretty much just uh, consolidated and I just put everything left that I had uh, into one package. So, you know, as you can see, the odds and ends, it has 127 pieces. I don't remember what the chit chat had, but I know it's up there also. Uh, so, um, I did go through, uh, it doesn't look like it, but I did go through quite a few of these. However, with the paper pad, I was able to use up the whole thing. So I thought I would go ahead and share with you the cards that I made um, using uh, this set. Alright, so first I'm going to start with cards that I made just on my own without using any card sketches. If you've been following my channel for some time, you know that uh, when I do mass production, I always bring in card sketches uh, to make the process go faster. So these were just some that I made, um, just you know, not using the sketches. Uh, again, bringing in some of those uh, ephemera pieces and then uh, using scraps on the inside as well. And I did that as much as I could with the cards. I think all the cards may have a little bit of something inside as well. So again, using some embossing folders, my snowflakes there, and then bringing in a couple more of the ephemera pieces and adding more scraps to the inside. Here I used some foil, silver foil, and I did my snowflakes with that. I had this uh, extra piece of swirl uh, embossing in my stash, so I brought that out, cut it out into a circle, and then added some of those embellishments, and then added more scraps to the inside. Here, this cute little Santa. Uh, this paper pad was really, really cute. Um, to some of the papers were just really, really adorable. And then again, using some scraps and adding them to the inside. This is some washi tape. So I was able to bring in some of my washi tape and use some of that as well. This is a, a square collage from My Favorite Things. It's a die. And I started, you know, having all, having all of these uh, pieces as scraps. So I went ahead and I brought that die in and I cut out these squares, you know, brought in one of my sentiments, um, and then again, adding more to the inside. So now I'll show you the cards I made using uh, some sketches. So uh, I... Operation Write Home is definitely uh, one of my favorite sketches, um, and I did focus a lot, um, several cards, with um, the Operation Write Home, and then I also did use uh, Crafty L's sheet load of cards. So here we have uh, one of the things that came in the paper pack was a, a couple of sheets of these tags. So I thought that I would uh, go ahead and bring in uh, this sketch here. Um, I can't really read it too well. It says something like SBS sketch number 10. I don't even know if, if those are S's or if they're the number five. I can't quite make that out. Uh, I do know that they make bonus, uh, they do have some bonus sketches. I'm not really sure if we would call this a bonus sketch, but here's what I have. I've got four cards, uh, brought in my wood grain, added three of the tags, and then some scraps to the inside. And I did that with all of these, using up all those tags. So that was a great way to use up that uh, six by six uh, piece of paper. And then here, the next one I used was uh, sketch number 70. 
So I basically, and I, I just reversed it. I put my circle on the other side. Um, again, use some silver foil here for my, my mat. And then um, I, this snowflake uh, paper is actually a background stamp. And I, you know, just used that, trimmed it, and then I added a circle that I had in my stash, trimmed that down, and then added my ephemera, and then added scraps to the inside. And then here I used sketch number 98, and I changed this up just a tad. All I did was move my, my circle. I moved it over to the center, and uh, again, added those ephemera pieces and uh, more scraps to the inside. And I was able to make two of these cards with this sketch. And these ephemera pieces are just really, really cute. And I had this, this I bought this last year. Uh, I got it um, actually on clearance. And um, I usually buy a lot of my Christmas uh, things after Christmas because they always have um, a sale after Christmas. And here I'm using sketch number 214. And I was getting down to the last bit of my scraps. Um, you know, brought in another one of those ephemera pieces. And then there's more of that washi tape. And then more scraps used on the inside. And here I brought in uh, a sketch from Jess's Crafts. Uh, this is uh, one of my favorite sketches from her. I just absolutely love this slimline uh, sketch. And if you are a um, an Echo Park f uh, fan, and you use their uh, their papers a lot, this is a great sketch because they typically have the three by four cut aparts that, and that's what this calls for. So basically for this one, I just matched up my papers and then I added some of those bigger ephemera pieces and then added scraps to the inside. Here's a landscape. So pretty. I love that. I love that the, the stripes there, the plaid of all the different colors. And then added more scraps to the inside. And then here. And you can always alternate uh, these pattern papers. They don't all have to be the same. Uh, and that works well when you're, you know, when you are working with double-sided uh, paper pads. And then the Santa, I thought that was super cute with the Santa paper. I had was able to do two of those, but I reversed the, um, the pattern. So really, really cute. All right, now on to uh, Crafty Al's sheet load of cards. I brought in the April 2020, and I was able to make two cards using this sketch. And this really helped me use up some of these circle uh, ephemera pieces. And again, just adding scraps to the inside. I love this sketch because it really gives you a chance to see uh, some of those uh, patterns um, up close. And then the next sheet load was the May 2020. And I got three cards from here. And again, um, able to use up some of these smaller cir circle uh, ephemera pieces. And again, just mixing up some of these papers because I was getting down to, uh, you know, the last bit of scraps. So uh, these sketches are perfect when you've got just scraps laying around. And I'm just, I'm really happy that I was able to finally use up this pad. Um, I'm also a scrapbooker. Um, I also brought in the July 2020. So everything that I have left in this odds and ends pack, I will definitely use in my scrapbooks. So here we have that, super cute. And then I have the October 2020. And again, uh, brought in one of my sentiments, cute stocking, and then scraps to the inside. And then the November 2020, I was able to get two cards from here. And again, a great sketch to use if you're down to your scraps. So if you can see here, I brought in my uh, Christmas bulbs uh, embossing folder, used that as my, as my background, and then uh, brought in those extra scraps and more on the inside. And then I did that to this one as well and just changed the color of 
the cardstock that I used for that. And then the June 2021, I was able to get two cards from here. And just super, super cute. Love that door with the wreath on it. And these are two pieces. Um, I, that heart is a separate piece. I just glued it in the center of the wreath. Um, brought in some more scraps and again used my snowflake embossing folder on that pink paper. And then the February 2022, uh, I just moved my uh, my ephemera piece over to the center, used up some of those more, more strips, and then added some more scraps and an ephemera piece to the inside. Super, super cute. And then the May 2022 uh, here, and I just wanted to add more of some of these uh, uh, embellishments, those ephemera pieces, and more scraps on the inside. And then last but certainly not least, the April 2023 sheet load. And here, um, and anytime I use the craft cardstock for my card base, I always layer it with the white cardstock inside to write my message or stamp my message uh, so it shows up better. And then again, brought in the, that washi tape. And I was able to finish off this roll. It was a smaller roll, uh, and I was able to use that up on these cards as well. So, um, you know. Two out of three isn't too bad, using up the washi tape and uh, the paper pad. So uh, glad that I was able to, um, you know, use up some of, more of my supplies. So I thought it was a great idea to just use, you know, try to use up a paper kit as my free choice for this month. And then the last two. And I think at this uh, this paper pad and a and a femur pack, they still might be um, available. The cute little I added that at the end because that was just kind of all by itself. And I thought let's just add it to the inside of the card. So if it's definitely something you're interested, in, you can take a look and see uh, if they have that. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, so that wraps up another video, friends, and I hope it has inspired you to tackle your stash and pick what you want and use up what you have. And until my next video, I hope your day is a crafty day. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you again real soon. Take care. Bye-bye.